Hello, Internet. Welcome back once again to Nerd Locker, our little discussion time. And today we're talking about more Marvel movie news, as if they couldn't just... We can't get enough of that stuff. No, they just... I'm going to justify this right now. I'm going to go on record. Marvel is putting out awesome movies. They are. They got us I'm really excited. DC is not living up to what they need to be doing right now. So, yep. of course, we're going to be talking about Marvel because that's really all that's going on right and now. And they're flushing us with news. I mean, yeah. DC's giving yeah. us almost they're nothing They're giving us... To work off you know, it's of. funny. We, at, being that we are press now, we get to talk to people and we have contacts with all these awesome companies. We're kind of a big deal. We're kind of we're a big deal. Kind of, I don't know if you've heard of this. We're kind of a big deal. So, and we actually get news from DC and, Mar and Warner Brothers and stuff like that. Marvel does not send us anything. So that's We sucks. get our, our news from sources like you guys, yeah. you know, and, and so it's still this is abundant. Why we give this to you. Yeah. I, I feel bad that we talk about Marvel movie news so much, but it's awesome news. They too. keep throwing stuff out there. Yeah. There's so much out there. Like, first off, they announced that Toby Jones will be back as Zola. Raise the roof, y'all. To Captain America, Captain the Winter Captain. Soldier. Awesome. See, I like this news because it's it's going to be a nice continuity for the series of the movies. Exactly. Because Hugo Weaving didn't, like, apparently he didn't like being Red Skull. So I don't Which know if bums gonna, me out because yeah, he did really such an awesome job. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to come back as that. So I like that at least Zola's yeah. coming back. I That's think it's, cool. and I, I like that they kind of hinted to Zola in the first one yeah. when he's on the screen when you first see him, you're like, oh my God. So it's cool that they're, yeah, oh that they're God. playing up on that. And as, as fun as the Winter Soldier movie will probably be, I think I'm really more interested in the illegitimate sequel to The Avengers, otherwise known as Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. Yes. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, Kevin Feige actually went on to talk about how this movie, it's going to be very different than Iron Man 1 and 2. That was a John Favreau movie. This is Shane Black. No Favreau here, but I mean, Different feel. It's going to be more akin to, like Bobby said, an yeah. Avengers sequel than anything else. Because you have the the fallout from the Avengers movie and how he's reacting to that. It's more Tony realizing, I'm not as strong and powerful as I think I am. My nope. suit gives me a lot of powers, but it's all here. And I need to protect this and I need to make sure that my suit can live up to the standards. It's pretty much Tony Stark in the comic books around extremists. It's it's going to be the same right, thing. Yeah. It's, it's going to be awesome. I can't I think, wait to see that. I think this is actually a good move on Marvel's part, uh, making Iron Man 3 the illegitimate sequel. Because yeah. because really, if we think about it, not as ner as comic fans, as everyone else fans of the, the Marvel franchise right now, they all got into it in Iron Man. So exactly. it only that makes your, sense that was your for Iron Man 3. Starter, and it's cool to see that after Avengers, what it was leading up to, Right. That's the ne the next step. It's what deserve. It's progress. the movie that deserves it. Really. Absolutely. Yeah, true. Uh, I really hope it doesn't. Everything. Yeah. I hope it doesn't hurt people who watch the Avengers two though, because uh, like Which a lot, is of, the a lot of people sequel. that I <laughs> talk, yeah, see, yes. I talked to a lot of people about Avengers, especially right after it came out, and they said, "Oh, you know, I never saw Thor, or I never saw Captain America, and this didn't make sense, or this didn't make sense." And it's kind of like, uh, "That's really you should have seen It's not all necessarily them. essential. You could enjoy Avengers. No, it's a package it. deal, though. But it, it is. is. It, it you is. get it it's better. There. You get yeah. it. I mean, if you didn't see Thor, you watch Avengers, and you're like, "Who are these two guys just out of nowhere?" Like, exactly. Right. And you like, won't appreciate wait, his like what? his mythology or his or his accent or anything, yeah. or and, how and, he acts with right. with Loki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But either way, with Iron Man three, they talked about that in the movie they will be blowing up the Chinese theater. Grumman's Chinese yeah. theater. Hopefully not in, in, well, not, no, in real life. life. So I mean, I think they're, they're probably not actually movie, blowing it up, but, but in the movie we will see it explode, which is cool. I don't think Who we've ever like... seen the Chinese theater blow up before. I don't right? think I've... Maybe? No, I, I can't recall. I, I so. I is there a movie where happen. that happened? Let us know. Comments below? That'd be awesome. Um, and then on to X-Men news. Yeah. Uh, Days of Future Past, which after the last couple of X-Men movies, not excited, but the more I hear about this, the more excited I, I get. I love that we're getting this from Hugh Jackman because he's like X Men movie info. Like, he is. He is soon. just the hub. Like, you're of just gonna all get. He's gonna get stuff and then he's gonna just gonna let it slip. Like yeah, there's somebody weird, telling him, okay, now you really hey, need to keep this don't. one close like, to the chest. He's like, I got He's it. like, no problem. And then he walks out the door and immediately talks <laughs> hey, to the press. <laughs> hey guy, uh, he told us this time that uh, this movie is going to have just about everybody that has worn a costume. Yep. In this movie. Which is cool. I mean, I, I feel. I hope that this movie is the saving grace the to the X Men movies. Well, if yeah. they do it right, they'll have a whole bunch of moments where true fans can be like, "I know who that is. Exactly. Oh, I know who like, that is." Oh, it wasn't like X Men Three where you're like, you know? "Who is that supposed if they, to be?" If they're gonna learn any lesson, learn is, that one. Is that a chick know? avalanche? Yeah, like what, what is going on? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like the guy throwing spikes. You're like, "Is that Spike?" And it says Omega Red. You're like, "This is none of this is right." Yeah. Making sense. Right. So I'm hoping that this movie kind of brings you, Brett Ratner, everyone back together in one, you know. But big thanks to Hugh Jackman. 
Yeah, thank you for just talking. He's really like the best part of the entire franchise. He, is. he really is. Like even no in the first, what, in first class, awesome. he's I like mean, his two seconds. Was yeah, you were like, second, oh, there we go. He's the second best part of that movie. Yeah. First being Michael Mag- Fassbender yeah. as Magneto. We've that talked about this. Awesome, yeah. but yeah, Anyways. I think. I mean, I think that is a I lot. I also like Jennifer Lawrence. But and that is a lot of good news to like on progress of this movie. Like that. Just, not just that movie. I mean, we, Marvel's giving us a lot of progress. They are just, you know. So I'm uh, loving this. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think. Is this exciting news or it is. is it getting a little bit long in the tooth? It's let exciting. us know, guys. It's exciting. Shut up, Brandon.